Seniors are eligible to get the vaccine here in Wisconsin, but how can they sign up if they don't have a computer? We look into the answer coming up on Local 5 News at 10. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tom Zalaski. And I'm Michelle McCormack. When a COVID vaccine clinic opens, you usually have to register in advance on a website. But what happens when you don't have access to a computer? Local 5's Danielle Zolkowski brings us some answers. So if they do not have any internet or they don't have access to a computer, they can call into our hotline. In the age of the internet, it feels like everything we do is online. But for those who do not have access, getting the COVID-19 vaccine becomes difficult. So many local providers are offering phone options to get this life-saving shot in the arms of many people in the 65 and up age group. We have several folks that are standing by to help with any questions, first of all, that they have about the vaccine. And then they most importantly will make sure if they're eligible, get them scheduled so that way they have a date and time. Right now, only those age 65 and up can get the vaccine, so providers are verifying eligibility when they sign up. They're giving us their date of birth and we're checking in our system, of course, to make sure that they're in there. If they're not, not a problem at all. We're getting them registered, creating a new chart for them and getting them scheduled. Bellin's hotline even has people ready to answer any questions potential recipients might have. So when they call, that's what's wonderful about our hotline is not only can we get Get them scheduled. Any questions they have, concerns, we have talking points, education points, just to make sure that they're comfortable and they're ready to go. Officials are reminding people to be as patient as possible when scheduling their vaccine because there is a limited supply. In the Fox Valley, Danielle Zolkowski, Local 5 News. Bottom line, if you're unable to get an appointment online, the next step should be a call to your primary care doctor.